have discussed uh, what is uh, free product of a non empty collection of groups we also discussed uh, what is the uh, what is free group uh, generated by a non empty set uh, now uh, we have uh, uh, we have following observation let star alpha g alpha b the c product c product of the family c product of the family g alpha such that alpha j so this is a family uh, over which p product uh, has been taken uh, uh, groups then uh, first uh, g alpha is a subgroup of subgroup of this star alpha g alpha for every alpha belonging to g so it is very clear from the definition of this c product of groups uh next uh there exists there exists there exists a uh, monomorphism monomorphism or uh, injective homomorphism i alpha from g alpha to star alpha g alpha such that i alpha applied over a equal to a for every a belonging to g alpha and this is true for every alpha in g okay so obviously g alpha is a subgroup so it is some kind of this inclusion map right so i alpha you can consider as inclusion map that will be a homomorphism also uh, next we have following lemma so this is basically a characterization uh, uh, theorem uh, um, so characterization characterizing result uh, of for a uh, free product of groups so let uh, g alpha such that alpha belongs to j b any non empty collection of groups let g alpha be any non empty collection of groups 
given any collection p alpha a uh, homomorphism from g alpha to h so this is collection of homomorphisms uh, Such that alpha in G is a collection of group homomorphisms. Homomorphisms. So H is some fixed group, and P alpha from G alpha to H, they are homomorphisms, group homomorphisms for every alpha in J. then uh, there exists there exists a unique group homomorphism there exists a unique group homomorphism uh phi from star alpha g alpha to h such that that phi uh, i alpha composed phi equal to phi alpha for every alpha belonging to G. So we will not uh, uh, write uh, 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 exact uh, means proof, but I'll just give you uh, uh, idea of the proof, right? So proof can be sketch. So you can see that uh, because uh, uh, this star. Alpha G alpha it is P product of group G alpha. Uh, so if you be want to define, if we want to define uh, uh, phi from here to here, then it is enough to uh, define phi over each G alpha, right? So what we will do is uh, it is. Uh, it is enough to define phi over G alpha for B alpha belonging to J. So you just define define phi restricted over G alpha over some A uh, equal to phi alpha A, right? 
So we can fare bri alpha belonging to G. Then uh, clearly, uh, clearly, uh, phi restricted over G alpha composed I alpha e I alpha A par A in G alpha will be what? It is just A phi restricted over G alpha e equal to phi alpha. So, so So you see, um, any element, uh, any element of uh, any element x in star alpha g alpha, it will be of the form. Uh, it will be of the form x will be of the form uh, some x alpha one, x alpha two, and so on. X alpha m, right? Will be of this form. So, so if uh, you want to write so phi x, uh, because we have defined phi over g alpha one, g alpha two, and so on. So this we define to be phi uh, x alpha one, phi x alpha two, and so on, phi x alpha m, and this is by definition. Is going. This is basically phi restricted over g alpha one. So this is phi alpha one x alpha one phi alpha two x alpha two phi alpha m alpha m uh, x alpha m. Right, so that phi is defined over whole, uh, and uniqueness will be there because uh, because if you you have any psi, then psi will have to agree over these g alpha, right? Uh, psi will have to agree over these g alpha. So in fact, psi and phi will have to agree over whole. Uh, Star alpha G alpha. So this gives uniqueness also. So in fact, in fact, a free product can be defined uh, in this way also, right? One can define free free product uh, of uh, A collection of groups G alpha to be uh, a group, right? Denoted by this, such that for every collection C alpha uh, from G alpha to H for any group C H, there exists a unique homomorphism C from this to H such that this uh, uh, your I alpha. Uh, composed phi equal to phi alpha, right? So one can define phi product of uh, groups uh, using this uh, characterization itself. Uh, then we have another lemma: every group, every group. Is homomorphic homomorphic image of a free group, right? It says that every group is homomorphic image of a true free group. Uh, proof is simple, right? So if G is any group, right? 
then uh, what you do is you just consider the free group uh, let let g prime be the free group right so consider g as a uh, g simply as a set right uh, with no uh, structure on g right so let g prime be the free group generated ed by uh be the free group generated by the underlying underlying set of g right so g uh, you consider g equal to f right and consider g prime be the free group generated by uh, this g now uh now uh so if uh, so the uh, g prime equal to star uh alpha belonging to g g alpha or g alpha equal to alpha to the power r such that r belongs to z which is right uh this now uh we have seen that uh, so there is uh, consider the uh now consider the group homomorphisms prism phi alpha from g alpha to uh g are given by so phi alpha applied over uh some so elements of g alpha are alpha to the power r equal to alpha to the power r so you just see here uh, here this alpha to the power r right this is just a notation right so you should uh, notice the difference alpha to the power given by just uh, let me just write so that is correct but uh, i'll just write so so of course alpha to the power r will go to alpha to the power r so alpha to the power r here is uh, just a uh, symbol right but alpha to the power r in g is just multiplying alpha because g is a group so multiplying alpha r times right so alpha to the power r and it is there in that sense right so this will give of course if we do this then define like this then this will give a homomorphism from g alpha to g so by previous lemma by previous lemma previous lemma there exists there exists a unique homomorphism homomorphism phi from uh, g prime to g uh, such that 
uh, this phi composed i alpha equal to uh, phi alpha. This is equal to phi alpha. Now, uh, just see that. So, we will prove that phi is actually surjective. So, you can see that G prime is a free group. G prime is a free group generated by the underlying set of the group G. So, we will prove that phi is surjective uh, because just see that for every Uh, G in G, uh, we have uh, so because we are using this notation alpha. So for every uh, alpha in G, we have, we want to show that there is some element in G prime such that phi of that is equal to alpha. So for every alpha in G, we have uh, phi composed I alpha, uh, alpha, equal to phi alpha right over alpha, equal to alpha that is now i alpha applied over alpha alpha is it g alpha right g alpha is generated by that alpha right so this i alpha alpha that is that is phi applied over alpha equal to alpha. Hence, phi is surjective. So, every group is homo homomorphic image of a free group. Uh, next, Definition uh, Let G be a group and S be a subset of G. Now, uh, the normal subgroup uh, of G generated by by S. denoted by SG is 
is the intersection of all normal subgroups of G containing containing S. Right. So there is a result uh, so we will leave this right the normal subgroup of G generated by S. Right. So what exactly it is? So let me uh Let G be a group and uh, S be a subgroup of G. Let S G be the normal subgroup subgroup of G generated by S as defined in this year, uh, then first SG is the subgroup of G generated dead by the so that notation is actually this mm. this uh, sg is the uh, then S G is the subgroup of G generated by the uh, set of set of conjugates conjugates of S that is this set. The so set of conjugates is uh, denoted by this SG and uh, it is collection of the elements G inverse S, G such that G belongs to G and S belongs to S. Next. S G is the smallest subgroup of G. It is the smallest normal subgroup. Smallest normal subgroup. Of G containing S. Okay. So this lemma, if you can consider uh, the proof as an exercise. So <clears throat> I will not prove proof. Uh, can do proof is simple. So proof. Can consider as an exercise and try to do it. <clears throat> K. 
Okay, now, uh, after discussing all these things, uh, we are ready to uh, give a statement of C for one Kantian theorem. So it helps in computing a fundamental group of a space in terms of fundamental group of uh, its component spaces. So it says that if uh, you have a uh, topological space and you are able to uh, divide right uh, the space uh, into uh, suitable subspaces, right? Uh, then uh, 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 you can compute the fundamental group of the space in terms of a fundamental group of the uh, those subspaces. 